Magic Mountain, the little, um, the Alpine sledding area and stuff like that. We're gonna, um, because this, uh, we're, we're heading into the snowiest part of town for some work. So uh, I just wanted you guys to see what the snowiest part of town is gonna look like. And I gotta pass this Washington guy in a moment once we can see around the corner. But yeah, it's February 5th, 2019, 1.10 p.m. This video probably won't upload until about two. We've been experiencing some really good snow today. That guy's beard was awesome. Damn, I wish I could grow a beard like that. I'm just not, not patient enough. Because I get tired of it, and then like you start getting food in it when you eat, and then that's when I end up shaving it. And then I'll try and grow it back out again, and then the same thing happens. I get sick of it because of all the food and just, like if you take a late night shower, like it's, it, it stays wet. <laughs> so when you're trying to like sleep, I don't know. Yeah, I don't see any cars, so we're good. All right. Say hello to my little Subaru. I never like him. For all I know, he had me and my friend Angel Hernandez set up or kill. <laughs> I love Tony Montana. He's the best. He really is. Guys, look at this winter wonderland. This is amazing. This is what Big Bear is supposed to look like in the wintertime. This is beautiful. Wow, I haven't seen these roads this covered this season. So this is great, you guys. This is so beautiful, man. Woo! And I need to slow down. I shouldn't be going over the regular speed limit in these freaking conditions. But I'm not going that fast. I was going 42, speed limit's 40. But yeah, guys, just unbelievably beautiful. Oh my gosh. Oh, that's right. I'm not gonna be able to freaking get there. The road's closed. Shit, I gotta let them know. Okay. Sorry about that, guys. We had to take a detour because Highway 18 is closed right there. I think some power lines or some trees fell on the road or something. But it's completely closed. That was amazing. So at least you guys know that. So we're in Boulder Bay. And look at how much snow is over here. I mean, guys, come on. This is insanely gorgeous. All right, we got to make it up this hill. Start hitting the gas. And just fly up like that. Woo! This is steep. Okay, here it goes. Here it goes. Right here. Oh, we need to. We need to fucking gas it. Come on, baby! Yes! Yes! Excuse the cursage. Oh my gosh, this street looks so gorgeous. All right. Peace out, you guys, for right now, and I'll, I'll, I'll get the video started again in just a moment. Guys, this is absolutely amazing up here. It is so pretty up here. There's so much snow. Or, I mean, it looks like a lot of snow. All right, here's my boy. I gotta shut it off now. Privacy. What's up, you guys? Since we were up here in, in Boulder Bay, I decided to stop by my friend slash old old boss at Bear Mountain and pick him up and uh, help him out real quick. I forgot I gotta make a U-turn. Um, he needs a, a ride somewhere because his car is stuck in his driveway. <laughs> I don't mean to laugh at him, <laughs> but there's no way I'm going down this hill. No freaking way, dude. Oh there. my gosh, dude. Yeah, we'd be in trouble. Oh, hey, that sound is your seatbelt. <laughs> so guys, this is Jeremy. He He's the chef. He He's the real chef at Bear Mountain. He's pretty much like the boss's boss over there. He's, he's the best. Uh, um, I learned a lot from him working over there, and if you guys stop by Bear Mountain and you get something to eat, make sure you say hi to Jeremy. Tell people to say hi to Jeremy. He's super cool, you guys. He is super cool, and uh, talk about a chef. It, oh, if you guys want pizza up here. Dude, I have a few thousand followers, but if you guys want pizza up here while you're here, hit me up, and I'll hit Jeremy up, 
because he makes uh, the most unbelievable pizzas, guys. Like at his house, he's he's an incredible chef. Um, you wouldn't mind maybe talking a little bit about your chef experience, would you? <laughs> Come on, Jeremy, please. You're not bragging because I'm asking you to. It's not like you're voluntarily like, hey, I'm the shit. But I want these people to know. Uh, no, I just I just really like cooking like farm to table Italian food, keeping everything fresh and. I worked at a few different restaurants for a few really good chefs and over the years and just kind of made my own style but I you know eventually I'd really like to open a restaurant up here in Big Bear because I feel like like especially the Italian food is like not very good up here so agreed <laughs> yeah I feel like if we you know opened up a restaurant up here with a wood fire oven and, and you know made fresh pastas and fresh oh, pizzas yeah. the people would be blown away a lot of money so oh yeah <laughs> yeah and 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 guys on top of his uh, amazing culinary uh just magic he's he's also one of the hardest workers i have ever seen this guy would show up to bear at like five in the morning hours before we open and not clock in just to make sure stuff gets prepped right for the day so you guys down the hill can have a good time up here that's the kind of guy he is, and that's what we try to do for you guys up here, is we try to go out of our way to make sure you have a, a great time, because in our orientation, we learned that less than 15% of you come back because of, you know, like uh, the long waits, driving up the mountain, chain controls, the gas it takes, the usurious prices we charge you once you get here for everything, um, spending an hour to wait for a couple ski lifts, like it's, people, get really irritated with it up here and less than 15% of the people come back. That shocked me. I honestly thought it would be like 75% of people come back because it's so beautiful, you know, but no, less than 15% of people come back and it makes sense. It makes sense. So Jeremy's really, 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 really good. Um, he cares and I want you guys to really know that Bear Mountain Chef actually gives a damn and uh, I want you guys to enjoy yourselves up there. And as I said, give Jeremy some love when you guys see him. He's a really, 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 really good dude, really kind. And look, road closed. I gotta show. Okay guys, so look, we are um, not even to like Boulder Bay and the road is closed on Highway 18. Completely, completely closed. Look at that, completely closed. They're not keeping up. There's the liquor store up there and everything. I don't know if power lines came down or what, but something happened, something happened. No, 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 definitely not. Um, it's R2 conditions right now, and here's John Law in front of us. I better slow down. I don't want him to think I'm driving too fast for the conditions because I'm going 30. All right. Oh, Jeremy, just so you know, if you're going like 30 and the cop thinks that's too fast, even though the speed limit is 40, they can give you a ticket in these conditions because, uh, so I just want you to know that. Um, it's, it's their freaking judgment if they feel like you're not driving appropriately for the current conditions. Um, what's safe for the conditions, then they will take you. I put my chains on last night, they flew off. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> Guys, we're locals, okay? We are locals. And you just heard that, right? You just heard that. He put on his chains and they flew right off. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, still made it home. <laughs> and he still made them. But guys, like, don't worry. It's, it doesn't just happen to you guys. It happens to us all the time. So don't even worry about it. Yeah. That's funny. <laughs> well, I mean, it's not funny because it costs a lot of money. You know, chains are not cheap. Yeah, well, chains are annoying, and then they, they smack your car. Well, you can't drive very fast, so I yep. can get a better car from the move up here, you know? Well, you've been fortunate this, this year and a half that you've lived up here, dude. Or, like, almost two fortunate. years. Well, no, no, no. Fortunate meaning that we haven't had any huge snowstorms yet. And this is the biggest storm you've seen since you've lived here. Because I, I, it's the biggest storm I've recorded since you've lived here. Yeah. And uh, it's not that big. Like, maybe parts uh, of your area maybe got seven seven my, inches my or something. My area, it looks like it's really piling up. Because I can ride. I'm, I'm about to snowboard <laughs> down, down my backyard. Are you Dude, yeah. there's so many nice hills right there, too, dude. Like, I'm about yeah. to do it later on because <laughs> I didn't get to ride today, so... I'll put on a headlamp too. <laughs> Sounds like fun, dude. Yeah, I'm gonna make a jump too. I have all these shovels ready. Oh yeah. <laughs> <coughs> all right, so yeah, we're coming up to the Alpine Slide area, or uh, yeah, uh, Magic Mountain again. You know, Steve told me that the 
Alpine Slide used to be at Bear Mountain back in the day. Really? Yeah. I didn't know that. The whole thing used to be at Bear Mountain. You know what? Maybe I do remember that because I remember they had a bungee jumping thing too. I don't know if it was in the 80s or 90s or what it was. Because I learned to ski up here when I was like 10 and a half in 1990 or 11 in 91. Like right in that area. They moved the whole slide over to That's me. crazy. Yeah. Piece by piece, obviously. But yeah. Yeah, it's a good car for your videos and everything. Oh, this car's great, man. Oh, yeah, I, I, I go all over town. Like, all over town. It's, yeah, it's, it's fantastic. All right, so where is is this place? Up uh, by the, it's right next to the bowling alley said? Okay. Yeah. My next door neighbor slash good friends own that old country store right there. So, yeah, I like that place. Mountain Witch Tea Company. Yeah, yeah good. I've been buying stuff. Oh, good, man. Yeah. Tell them I freaking referred you. I don't want nothing I from them. Oh, them. oh, good, man. Good, good, good. Because I, I want them to know That's that cool. I do care. You know? Yeah, they're both really cool. Tommy and Kelly. Yeah. They're doing a good job of piling over here. It's just that my area, my streets are pretty tough right now. Yes. Pretty Lots pretty of the neighborhoods come very far, very last. Yeah. They get all the main. And when they're all, it's all hilly over there, so it's hard to get up to those hills. Yes, far. it sure as hell is. And, bro, taking that detour taught me a new way no but i know all those different ways dude, now dude that, like you know i never knew that my car can't get up that big hill no matter what oh really in, in any type of snow <laughs> <laughs> it was just and i hear cars do that all day <laughs> trying to oh yeah there, dude um and they won't make it i have a friend at the bottom of the hill right there on the way up to your place and uh when i was Stay parked the there man. yesterday um i saw three cars try to go up that hill, and they were struggling, struggling, and then, then they had to back all the way down. Oh yeah, I know. They had to back all the way down, That's and <laughs> few of my buddies that were coming to my house, they get stuck there. That's insane, dude. How, like, yeah. It's right in this parking lot. This right here. Yeah. Right there. Yeah, straight. Right here. Yeah, you go straight around this thing, yeah. Okay. All right, cool. Tell him to shut up. <laughs> Just kidding. Is it right here? Yeah. Okay. Take your time, my man. Thank you. But hurry up. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Alright guys, that's cool. That's my boy. Jeremy, he is uh he is the main boss in, um, for all the culinary stuff at Bear. And then when he was just talking about Steve, Steve LaCroix is the general manager. So Steve is his boss, but Jeremy runs everything for the most part. He's so cool, you guys. He's such a cool dude. He is such a cool dude. And since 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 we were just right down the street from him, I thought, you know what, we'll stop by. We'll stop by. And I I hit him up and he actually needed a ride somewhere. So I'm like, dude, yeah, no worries, I got you. So anyway, I love you guys. I'm shutting this off for a moment. Back on. We are back on because it's like almost a blizzard out here. It's nice. So the first part of this drive, we already did this this video, but I just took my friend Jeremy, who you guys just met, um, over to uh his real estate company to handle some stuff real quick because his car is stuck in his driveway and uh yeah i know we just recorded this and it's going to be at the beginning of the video but it's snowing harder now i want you guys to see that it's almost white out conditions it's getting close um it's really 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 pretty really freaking pretty oh look at all these people coming up what's going on where are they coming from Man, look at this, Jerry. This is awesome, bro. How did they? How did they get through that road closure? Maybe it's open now. No, dude, I don't think so. They're they're detouring everybody through Boulder Bay, right? Oh, okay, I didn't know that. Yeah, yeah. So it's uh the main Boulder Bay entrance. Okay, so where it says road closed, from right there to the Boulder Bay entrance is closed. Yeah, I know. But right, maybe yeah, it's probably why there was that power outage. Yeah, that's that's sure, making sense to me now. Much. That's tough. That's definitely making sense to me now. So guys, Jeremy went all night long without any power, and it was really cold. Yeah, I had to keep making trips out to the get firewood all night, so my dog wasn't freezing too. See, not only a damn good boss, a damn good dog owner. <laughs> <laughs> Just an all-around good guy. Thank you. Yeah, for sure, dude. 
thank you for helping me drop off my rent. Not a problem. It would have been late if I didn't have a ride, so. Oh, no worries. I'm just going to charge you the late fee anyway. <laughs> <laughs> Which is typically 10%. Do you feel like an Uber driver right now? I, uh, uh, no. No, no. I I feel lucky that I get to have you in the car right now, bro. <laughs> Thanks. No, dude, you're, you're the fuck. This guy's the Bear Mountain, sh like the man at Bear Mountain, you guys. Like, and I'm riding in the car with like, with like Bear Mountain celebrity over here. <laughs> um, yeah, no, bro. Like, like uh, these people are witnessing greatness in my passenger seat. Thank you, bro. Yeah, no problem, dude. I had a great time working for you. If I didn't have my business right now, I would work for you again, like without oh, yeah. a without a doubt. And we'll I'd see about when I have a restaurant. You can work part time. Dude, I'd love to to be a freaking waiter. I would love to be a freaking waiter because. Yeah, yeah. You know my customer service skills, bro. You saw me all season last year, dude. Customers love me. Yeah, dude, that's freaking crazy. They're not keeping up with the roads over there. No, they're not. <laughs> they're not keeping up with the roads all over here, and I have the worst car to drive. <laughs> you really do. <coughs> you really do. Somehow, but somehow in the snow. Right Otherwise, now. that car's badass, yeah. but in the snow, oh, it's really, really sucks. Is this guy right here? He, I don't know. <laughs> he just slid right into the side there. A truck too. Yeah, I know. With chains on too. Yeah. It's a a truck, a four wheel with See, chains. My car just fucks around. Here. Dude, it's just that's that's amazing. This car doesn't do that. I know. This car does not do that. Even when I try to get loose and do it's donuts, smooth. it it makes it tough. It feels smooth. Hey, thanks, man. That's what she said. <laughs> you go this way, right? Did you go this way? Last I I went straight. You go right. Oh, really? Yeah, it's better. Oh, so 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 this is a less rough road to. Yeah, that's the way that I take. Oh no way, dude! I road. never knew about this. You tell me where to turn then. It's gonna be at the top of the hill. It's gonna be left. Top, okay. Wherever that car came from. Nice, dude. I never knew about this, Jeremy. Thank you. No that's very very cool, guys. We just got another uh, way to uh, get around traffic when it's on uh, the main boulevard. That is awesome. This thing has no problem. <laughs> just, just no problem. It's, be it's beautiful over here right now. Oh, it's so gorgeous. It is so gorgeous I over here. I think this is getting like the most snow and bear right now. Yeah, as a matter of fact, like if you look at some of these roofs, hold on, just real, real quick. Look at the roof right there. That looks like about eight inches of snow, doesn't it, guys? Yeah. Eight, nine inches of snow, maybe even a little bit more. Wow. I, we, think, I think we've got around like. Oh, look Android, at that, dude. That's probably a foot, snow, a foot of snow on top of that bench. Look at that. Guys, yeah, I think I may have I think misjudged. We get a foot over here, dude. You know what? Seriously. This next video is gonna say Boulder Bay and one foot of snow. Cause watch it in front of my house. Yeah, I, I've been watching it pile up, and it's like, wow, it keeps piling up, keeps piling up. Try to dig out my car, and I can't. Where's your house? It's up here. It's Straight. Oh, yeah, okay, okay, okay. This is my intersection up here. Okay. Yeah, I was doing a donut in your intersection uh, <laughs> yesterday because I had to had to do some work up here. Oh yeah, it's just like. The, the clouds can't keep up with the streets over here either, and it's right here left. Oh, okay, I was gonna go that way. Gosh, I am gonna go that way anyway. That's beautiful. Beautiful. All right, man. But if you see my roof too, bro, how piled up it is, and then all around that, it's. it's but deep, man. it like looks like, well, for for your privacy, I don't want to show your house and stuff. Or we'll, okay. well, yeah, yeah. It looks like every other house. Yeah, that's a good point. Yeah. So yeah. Your roof doesn't have as much snow, but I know it snowed but that. If you look on the right over there, you see that little bank right there. Oh right? yeah, yeah. It's been yeah. Up. It's like oh yeah, foot. oh yeah, right there. Yep, right there. Yeah. Damn, dude, it's so beautiful. It is so beautiful. Right, bro, thank you. Dude. You're very welcome, Jeremy. Anytime. Oh, you have a great day. You too. Hey, don't don't forget whenever. All right. All right. Yeah. I'm okay. Up. All right. Okay. I, I think I. Whenever. I think I was about to, and then I did. Don't. Or, it's no rush. I'm going to though right now. Don't, it's no rush. I got you, brother. <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. Have a good day. You too, Jeremy. All right, guys. So we are gonna head back. It's gonna be a longer video. I gotta turn around somewhere. Oh, they did get a lot of snow up here. So this is Boulder Bay, folks. 
We're gonna turn into this driveway a little bit and turn, oh wait, no we're not. We're gonna turn into the street and turn around like we did last time. Man, just beautiful. So this is Boulder Bay, the Boulder Bay. And I didn't know I could go straight, that's really cool. So that's, I mean, we don't have to do that and we're, we're not going to do that. We're gonna go down the steep part again. Oh no, we're not, because I want you guys to see that neighborhood up here again, with a, a foot of snow in some parts. My bad. Look at all the snow. They really got hit up here. They got about a foot up here. They really did. Uh oh, where am I going? Where am I going? Uh oh. Great. Great. Earlier today, my brakes locked up. Couldn't, couldn't, couldn't believe it. That was the first time on the snow and ice that that, that happened. Yeah, look at over there. They're just getting drenched over there. Just amazing. Just amazing. Yeah. All right, guys. We're about to get out to the, 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 uh, the main highway again. Peace out. I love you guys. This is so beautiful. Oh, my gosh.